We made an assumption that we'd use commercial training materials because what the heck, there's great stuff out there. And by the way, we had a great interactive computer-based training program. The problem is it didn't work. It was a complete failure. It was a complete failure because in a compressed schedule, which we are doing with a lot of our customers, they don't have time to absorb this information. Now, the reason I know this is a complete failure is because as everybody came in, I would give them a practice oral exam that they would face in their private pilot curriculum. Now, this wasn't something that was to PTS standards, but we found huge, huge inadequacies in their ability to either have or apply information that we would have otherwise gotten with that material. So this was a pretty big shock to us, and me in particular. We had a group of people that came in from a college university. I would have thought that people studying in a college in the United States would have gotten past rote response as their teaching methodology and their studying methodology, and I was completely wrong. So our process became very simplified. The learner has to explain it, they have to do it in the simulator to a proficiency standard, and then they do it in the aircraft to that same proficiency standard, and then we up the standards until eventually we are well past the PTS standards. This process is so simple, it's almost impossible to manage. Say that again. The process is so simple, it's almost impossible to manage until we started making some changes. The learners couldn't explain, and they couldn't explain because their entire life they've been taught rote response. So we had to rethink the teaching dynamic here in terms of what the learner can do, what the material is, and our delivery methodology. Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy to use avionics. And the new IFD 540 and 440 FMS GPS Navcoms set a new standard for ease of use and simplicity. As plug and play replacements for legacy 530 and 430 series navigators, the hybrid touch user interface of the IFD 540 and IFD 440 makes it much easier to access the information you want while reducing head down time and making flying more enjoyable. Now you have a choice, and the choice is easy Avidyne. Rote is king in the U.S. educational system. People are not taught or people do not learn how to analyze. Yet the fundamental aspect of being a pilot is taking information that you have absorbed and applying that not only in a real world environment but in a real time environment. And unless you have some skills about taking information, doing some analysis and coming up with conclusions, this is difficult. So we are doing a huge teaching curve when they get here. Most rote learners have a reflective response. And the reflective response when asked a question by an instructor is, and they don't know the answer, is to stand there with a blank look until the eventually the instructor, who is well into the AAA personality stage, will burst out the answer just because some amount of time has expired. That amount of time varies with instructors, but it's, it's, it can all, always be measured in nanoseconds. So if Doug, if I ask you this question, you don't have the answer, well, no, no, let me tell you the answer. The rote learner has just accomplished their goal. I didn't know the answer. I give them the puppy dog look. They will give me the answer. This does nothing to develop critical thinking skills. The other rote response they have is to sh start shotgunning information. You know, uh, pitot tube, uh, wheel covers, um, um, part 61, uh, third class medical, until eventually they hit on something that's even close, the instructor gives some kind of indication verbally or non-verbally that they're getting close, and then they start narrowing this down. When in fact, all they're doing is throwing out rote responses until it comes somewhere close. This doesn't work. This type of learning system is, in my opinion, why there is such a high failure rate on the oral portion of the practical exams. And when we start be crying, you know, talking about the FAA and how many people fail the initial instructor practical test, it's not the FAA's fault. The practical test standards are easy. The flying is nothing more than you did as a commercial pilot. So what goes wrong? The instructors cannot, in a word, instruct. They have become their own victims of rote response as well. So where does this take us? We still have to make a PIC in a week, and how do we do that? Well, we need to help them learn faster. 
We need to increase the ground evaluations, which is the only way we can make sure they got those critical skills. And by the way, if you're increasing ground evaluations, you have to rewire your instructors so they understand how to do that, how to do ground evaluation. And that's something that is not taught in the instructional curricula in this country. <clears throat> I happen to be lucky in that, you know, after I uh, migrated out of the Air Force, which was a nice way of saying retiring, I was hanging around and somebody from the FAA said, hey Roger, we've been looking at you for a while, you know, and uh, clearly you can't fly, you can't instruct, and you're kind of a jerk, how about being an examiner? <laughs> and I said, I don't know, it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's actually not a true story, nobody's ever said I couldn't fly, okay? <laughs> but as an examiner, and there are several others in the room that I recognize, you act kind of like a forensic pathologist. You get to see a lot of other people's mistakes. And because you do, you get an opportunity to peek into this window about why people are not successful into those things that we call flying skills or oral evaluation skills. And that allowed us, I think, to have a little insight on how to rewire the CFIs. And if they walk around and they twitch every once in a while, like their characters in the Matrix, that's because of that rewiring. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. The learner. Society demands that successful people become multitaskers. Agreed? This is not a good learning skill. If you are a successful multitasker, we can lose your attention like that. Some of the people who come here for their three-week program or their week program with a week off, week on, week off, bring their jobs with them. This doesn't work very well. We can't prevent people from being distracted. We can't prevent people from bringing their jobs with them. What we have to do is find ways to lose their attention. And they all start out really well. They come here and they're going to go from zero to hero in three weeks. This is always something they wanted to do. This is Fantasy Flight Camp 101. Three weeks, I am going to be a pilot. I am going to be a jet pilot. I'm going to have a girl on my arm just like this movie. Oh, wait a minute. What's that over there? A monkey smoking a cigarette. Okay? And now they are gone. You have absolutely lost them and trying to bring them back into the fold. I'm <laughs> sorry. I apologize for that slide. <laughs> well, Lord, I apologize for that slide. Okay. You can't fix modern ADD. By the way, I don't think you'd want to fix modern ADD because this is what made them successful in the first place. What you have to do is design delivery methods that fully engage the learner so they don't have a chance to wander off and see that shiny thing over there and what it is. And oh, by the way, and no offense to people who are instructors in the room, that delivery method can't rely on any CFI's expertise, and it can't rely on the instructor's presence in the delivery method. That is a fundamental change in how we are trying to do things here. And we'll talk about why that's important in just a second. Let's talk about the material. If you talk about why people quit because it's too hard, the volume of information that we would put in front of somebody is absolutely frightening. And oh, by the way, it is largely irrelevant. We started out giving textbooks to people because, hey, that's how it's been done. We then started out giving the textbooks for free so they might even open them once in a while because that seemed like that's how it had to be done. Now we wouldn't even put textbooks in front of them because we just made it visually too hard to learn when in fact the amount of information in there that you have to know is very small. So what do we do to cover that? We put all the FA documents, handbooks, etc., on one single disk, made it a giant PDF so it's searchable. So if you want to know everywhere the FA talks about transponders, just type in that word and you go through the list. That is your research library right there. And once you have that, we encourage you never to open it. <laughs>